Hi, welcome to Central Skagit Library in Cedar Woolley. I'm Carol and today we're going to talk about planting an autumn garden. Now's the time to start planting your seeds in, for autumn harvest. You can plant a number of things right now, including arugula, also known as rocket, bush beans, beets, bok choy or any of the other choys, green onions, lettuce, radishes, spinach, and turnips. You can also plant garlic, onion, and peas to overwinter and harvest next spring and summer. You can start planting from late July through mid-August. You want to plant in well-drained, rich soil in full sun. The rule of thumb is to plant seeds at a depth equal to two or three times their thickness. It's better to plant seeds too shallow than too deep. When you plant, you want to make sure you plant in nice, damp soil. If it holds in a ball in your hand like that, that's good soil you can plant. That's a good time to plant. But if it's dry like this, don't even think about it. Water first. With beans and any hard seed, it works best to soak them overnight so they germinate faster in the soil. The beans have a little white spot at the bottom. That's the root, or will be the roots. So you want to plant it with that side down if you can. It doesn't really matter, it will grow either way, but it's just faster and easier if the, the roots are pointed down. Now for beans, those are large seeds, and we like to make plant those in hills. So make a circle. Here's your hill in the middle. And I like to use three seeds for each hill. Okay, cover those. And then if all three sprout, you just pick the strongest and pull the other ones up. These little tiny ones can almost sit right on the surface. We're just gonna put, and it's hard to space them because they're so small. And then just cover with, oops, that's too much. Tiny bit of soil. That's arugula. Carrot seeds are also very tiny. This is leaf lettuce, another one that can be pretty shallow. You'll want to water deeply. If you're just watering little seedlings like these radishes, they don't go very far down, so an inch is fine for them. But notice, and I've just put a lot of water on top here, but all you have to do is dig a little bit and you see how dry it is underneath? That's no good. You let it soak in. It really needs to go down about five or six inches. And the best time to water is right after a rain, believe it or not because that kind of gets it started and then you come along and water some more and it goes more deeply. You can get yourself a rain barrel like this from the Skagit PUD for only $60 each. They donated the ones to the library, which is very nice, but they collect water very quickly. Even a light rain will fill the barrel. And then you can use that water to water your plants. Most vegetables need to be thin so they have room to grow. Refer to your information sheet for which plants need to be thinned and how far apart to space them. With this variety of radishes, they need to be about two inches apart. So we're just gonna snip between the ones about that distance. And the best part is that these, for the radishes, these little microgreens are excellent food. You can put them in salads and on sandwiches. You can see this row has been thinned to about two inches apart or a little more. This row has not been thinned and you can see what would happen if it's not thinned. The radishes won't be radishes, they'll just be little red stems. Thanks for joining us and we wish you the best of luck with your new fall gardens.